physical methods of nanomaterial synthesis. Let us learn the most simplest and popular method of nanomaterial synthesis that is mechanical milling. Mechanical milling is done using ball milling for producing amorphous or nanocrystalline alloy particles, elemental or compound powder. Let's watch how a typical ball mill crushes the large particles of hard ceramics or alloys to get fine powder. Ball milling method. In this video, we are going to see about ball milling method. One machine that is heavily used for crushing and grinding task is the ball mill. This machine is described as a grinding device capable to crush and transform large hard materials into fine powder. A ball mill is a cylindrical machine generally used for mashing and crushing paints, ceramic materials, ores and other hard materials. Feed material, dust collection, finished product, grinding ball. By rotating on a horizontal axis, the ball mill effectively turns hard materials into fine powder. The grinding materials are actually small balls which crush and grind the material that is inside the ball mill. Usually, stainless steel or ceramic balls are used as grinding materials. When the ball mill rotates, the balls crush and grind the material inside, creating in this way loose powder. The end result is crushed material that can be used for other purposes. So milling uh, when it is done in cryogenic liquids, it can greatly increase the brittleness of the powders, which also influences the fracture process. As you all know, any process that produces fine particles requires a step to be taken to prevent oxidation. Hence, this process is very restrictive for the production of non-oxide materials. It also requires that milling should be carried out in an inert atmosphere. The powder particles must be handled in appropriate vacuum system or glow box to prevent oxidation. So, it is basically a top-down approach. It's the simplest method of making nanopowder by different types of high-energy shakers or ball mills as we have seen in the animation. So nanoparticles are produced by the shear action during grinding. They are crushed. So if the mechanical milling imparts sufficient energy to the constituent powders, a homogeneous alloy can be formed. Different types of ball mills are used for preparing the nano crystalline powders. Some of them are planetary, vibratory, rod and tumbler. Let us see a schematic representation of the principle of mechanical milling. See here we can see a simple mechanical mill wherein the energy transferred to the powder from these refractory or steel balls it will depend on so this is the energy it is transferred these are the mechanical uh, refractory or steel balls 
and it depends upon first the rotational speed with which these balls are moving inside the mechanical mill the size and number of such balls so how many such balls are there their size the ratio of the ball to powder mass okay the time of milling and the milling atmosphere that is whether it is inert atmosphere so the most advantage are it is a top down method the material is prepared by structural decomposition of the coarser grain structures it's a most popular method because it is very simple doesn't require any inexpensive equipment for synthesis and the major advantage is tonnage tons of material can be easily synthesized uh, for various industrial applications but there are few limitations of this method they are the main serious problem is of contamination from milling media or the atmosphere and second one is the to consolidate the powder product without coarsening the nano crystalline microstructure thank you so next we will watch the videos on photolithography and electron beam lithography